I don't know what dimensions it are. <laughs> It tastes like salt and caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the best ice cream you've ever had? That's really good. We gotta get this shit done. Day 21. I can't believe we're in the, the 20s already. Uh, How did that happen? I don't know. Yeah. Today is very exciting. We're gonna be putting up our overhang. Why did you interrupt me? Because I hadn't talked yet. I couldn't think of the word anyway. That's why I interrupted yeah, you. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> We're gonna be putting up our overhang and hopefully like finishing that overhang other than the metal roofing material. Right, because that's we, my goal. We don't we we gotta order the metal roofing material. Yeah. We won't really know for sure till we get it built exactly what dimensions it are. It are. <laughs> I don't know what dimensions it are. <laughs> I'm sure you start it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I feel like we've. This is sort of like like the floor and the air conditioner. Where we, I feel like we've been talking about the overhang for like eight months. Yep. Um. And so I can't believe that today is today. I know. That's crazy. Now, have we ever built an overhang before? Nope. No. Do we know what we're doing? No. Nope. Not exactly. But. We are here to learn, mm -hmm. and you are here to, to watch us. To learn, learn with us. And maybe watch us fail. But no, we're not going to fail. No. We're well, not going to fail. You know, because you can cut wood multiple times as long as you're careful. <laughs> it's a good advice for everybody, but you can cut wood multiple times mm -hmm. as long as you're careful. As long as you're careful. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we're going to get started. Let's do that so I can stop talking. Okay. Okay. According to our friend, Mr. Google. Mr. Google. Mr. Google says that we need to have a 112 pitch because we have heavy rains. Also because At our least. other roof is 112 and they should match. Um, I'm not worried about that. We do that. get heavy rains though. I think that's right. a fair point. So we're going to aim to get this pitch at least a 112. The tricky part is, is that we're worried that the lentil is not high enough Open to allow a 112 down to the point where we're not hitting our we're not like ducking <laughs> to walk under it when we come in so that yeah. we're going to put the post up and do some additional measurements well first we're going to mark on the post where we will, will be cutting it where we think we need to cut it mm -hmm. and then we're going to mark where we are planning on 
putting our 2x6 across, and then we're going to see if we can walk under it. Right, because that 2x6 brings you even further down. There's probably better ways to do this, and my dad is going to be very ashamed of me, but this is how we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> it's going to work. Cut our second right. post. We've plumbed them both. They should be good. The second post we did cut higher than we know we needed because we don't know for sure they should be the same level. According to the level, they're the same height. Guys, we're just we're just triple checking. Yeah. Also, we don't like pre-math. We no. like post-math. So we're post-mathing it right now, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. Don't judge us. So what we're gonna do is put our two by six. We're gonna clamp our two by six where we want it. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna mark on the six by six and just triple check that measurement and make sure it's exactly where we want it before we cut it. Because if we cut it and yeah, it's we're, wrong. We're screwed. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's all I got. It's the last two six by sixes. In all, in of, all of America. In all of Arizona. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. We're gonna take a break for lunch and we'll be back out to finish it. Guys, we let our friends borrow our jigsaw and we need the jigsaw to do the bird's mouth cuts. But they're down in a coffee shop. Are we going to the coffee shop again? Two, two times in a day? Is that what we're doing? No, but we gotta go get the jigsaw so we can keep going. But we gotta take the stuff out of the bed of the truck. So it doesn't slide out while we drive. But it is right next to the coffee shop, which also sells ice cream, which also sells cold drinks. So, okay, so we didn't get coffee, but we did get our most important thing, the jigsaw. You see this? You see how warped that board is up there? And the one right next to it? This is what happens when you live in the middle of nowhere and you go to get wood. It's all the leftovers. We're making slow and steady progress getting each of our rafters up. The wood is super warped. Uh, where we're attaching them back along the lintel, the hurricane dies don't always fit because of cob in the way. There's a lot of like weird issues that we're running into, but this should be the last board that we're cutting um, and then trying to get it all ready to put the deck in. Also, I know it looks like it's flat, but I promise it's a 112 pitch. It's just a weird angle. Just, Only eight foot. Just trust us.
we've decided that after using hand saws, this is how we will build our house. There will be no power tools involved. It'll all be hand sawn. Right? Whatever. <laughs> sure. The motto is, babe, why do it once when you can do it twice? Or just when you think you've done it right, stand back and look at it. Does it look wrong? If so, do it again. Hey, we're moving right along. Decking is going on now. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna put scaffolding over so I can kind of stand on most of it. And then once the decking's screwed down, then I'll stand up there to put the underlayment on. first piece of decking up yes and it went well very well surprisingly so we're gonna put the second piece up and it should also go well no it won't because it's always the last piece the last screw the last piece of wood I don't think it'll happen today. where it all goes wrong always I don't think it'll happen today so we're gonna set the second piece up mm -hmm. mark where we need to cut it scroll saw it jigsaw it jigsaw and screw it down. Yeah. Easy peasy. We're get, we were gonna hopefully like paint and like get the underlayment. The underlayment no, we'll on. do that tomorrow. Yeah. I think this is a wonderful accomplishment. <laughs> I think this is a wonderful accomplishment for the day. I did too. Yeah. You did so good. You did so good. No, you did so oh good. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Adelaide's really rolling tired. her eyes over there. Last screw. Can't believe it. All right. We did it. We made an overhang in a day. It's pretty exciting. Day 21 was a big fat success. It was. Like, there wasn't <laughs> hardly any trouble. Mostly, yeah. Yeah. We had a few issues with some of the hurricane ties. Is that what you call them? Yeah, I had to, had to cut some of them to fit around the cob and then uh we had sort of a brain fart around <laughs> around our side pieces for some reason we thought we could put two by sixes there yeah but that doesn't work no 
So Didn't. thankfully we bought extra. <laughs> See, we've learned. We've learned a few things. <laughs> we've learned you always buy extra. Yeah. So we had enough extra two by fours to just finish it out. And now two by sixes to do some fun stuff. Oh, I don't extra know project. Yes. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Much not later. Right now. <laughs> anyway. So uh, so tomorrow we're gonna paint the bottom of it, put the underlayment on. And then we'll get exact measurements and we'll talk to Thunder Mountain Metal on Monday and see yeah. if we can get get our metal pieces ready to go. As soon as we can, because that means once the metal's up and we have the flashing that connects the building to the roof, yep. we can cob and it'll all just work together. Right. Yep. Very and exciting. then And then we'll just go back to the floor and finish that. And oh my we'll gosh, guys. Go back We're to so the outside. Close. We're then, so close. Oh, this is very exciting. We're getting, we're getting real we're close. We're getting this shed done. We are getting this shed done. I can't believe it. All Sometimes right. it never, it felt like it would never get done. I know. But now we're on the upswing. I know. We're feeling pretty good. Feeling real good. But he, he knows what'll happen tomorrow. No, don't say that. <laughs> tomorrow will be just as productive. Day twenty one was a huge success. I'm gonna call it. Day twenty two will be even better. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. Yeah. So. We'll see you then. That smile was a miracle in my world of confusion. Oh, I fell in an instant, took but moments to see. That she 